Yeah, my heartbeat since before opening this space has always been to develop leaders that have a heart towards people to come and know the Lord through a physical experience, through physical fitness. Uh, FCA here has a partnership with uh, Bethel to where we are running the sports leagues out on the fields. You see us, you see us in the basketball courts and now through fitness. And Bethel Church has been the pioneer in starting what it looks like to have true church partnership. My heart is to be able to take the fitness model for all ages, all abilities, give it back to the community, but at the same time, pour into the local church. So we started in February, that's when we opened, and our first step here is to build trust and relationship. And so we're in that stage of the gym where we're really trying to be a place of invitation and be able to love people well through good coaching and great community and really getting relational and talking to people. As we continue to build those relationships, we are going to be um, mentoring different athletes in the gym through just organic conversation within the gym. Uh, they can invite them to a personal small group. I go once a week on Friday. It's been good for me to, to get the balance. I had fallen and broken my leg twice. I have a severe osteoporosis and was having a hard time coming back. Crystal invited me to her gym and we did exercises and I discovered in a, it was a safe place and Crystal was a safe person to do exercise with. And I started to get better. As you get older, if you don't use it, you lose it and we need we need to stay fit. My rhythms have been like spiritual rhythms, like reading my Bible or relational rhythms, spending time with people, uh, or just rhythms of praying and spending time with God, but I haven't been exercising. And what I realized when I started exercising with Equip, at first I was just exhausted and tired and was like, this is draining on my body and I don't know how this is gonna add value to these other areas of my life. But as I got into a rhythm of uh, exercising, especially with Equip, I was getting more energy and more excited and more clarity of mind. And I was realizing, well, like going to the gym itself isn't this like super spiritual thing. It has like freed me up to like think and be present and be more energized in the places that I'm at. And so there's this level of like, I'm trying new things and sometimes I'm failing, but every time I'm walking away, either learning something or feeling, feeling encouraged about this thing that I'm doing. I've been doing CrossFit for about eight years. I've known Crystal since day one that I started. She pushed my limits. She made me go for it. I've been doing it since I've had these two. And I worked out with her till I was about a week away from giving birth. And it helped me recover from even the C-section. After I had her, I was like, this is impossible. How do I go to the gym with a baby and toddler in tow? And I was like, I can't even get through Walmart or Target or Costco. And so without one of them crying, and the people here have been very awesome and supportive. They open snacks for Jared and they pick her up when she's crying or throw a little fit. And it's been, Great. We're three-dimensional beings, you know, body, mind, and spirit. And uh, if you're missing a dimension, you might not notice it until you experience that third dimension, uh, whatever that third dimension is for you. Some of it's spiritual, you don't know the Lord yet. Some of it's, you know, in, in the physical. And when we push ourselves to a certain level physically, whatever that is, um, you experience a certain challenge, uh, adversity. But when you're in a community of people doing the same thing with you, we, weaknesses come out really easily. But in the gym setting, you exploit a weakness very quickly, whether you want to or not. And it's amazing how people come alongside you because one day your weakness will be one thing and the next day you'll find a strength. Sometimes as a Christian, I feel stuck in my bubble. Even at church sometimes, I have like my group of people that I like talk to, and it can be difficult to step out of that bubble. It's more than exercise. It's also relationship building. I'm kind of like an in intimate state because I'm working hard at something I'm not very good at, and I'm sweating alongside the people next to me, and they're struggling too. And so there's these friendships that almost form faster. And so I think one, one of the things that we could learn is 
Stepping into these environments that are uncomfortable with other people that are uncomfortable, we can build new relationships and it's really cool and powerful. There's days I only have about two, three hours of sleep, but it's on my docket and scheduled to come here. I actually feel so much better after, like when I leave. This is like my outlet. I feel like I'm a better mom at the end of the day. God's just been showing up in many different ways. It's been great to see just organically through the fostering of the coaches and what they do in the classes and uh, seeing people as humans um, before seeing them as athletes. We just try to walk the walk instead of talk the talk and uh, people can feel the love of Jesus in here just being around us. I love the atmosphere here. We know that this place was prayed over, prayed for. It's important for so, on so many levels for so many of us, not just Bethel people, not just old people, to reach out to our community. We live in a community of, of active, fit people. You don't outgrow that.